What's up, ladies and gents? Sinistra No One, your host, and welcome to a new classic walkthrough. I am so glad to be playing this for you guys. I streamed this last year at the beginning of 2018 for Facebook, and now it is time to do a walkthrough on YouTube for Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Remember, if you ever need to catch any of my streams, we stream pretty much every single day, and we do that on Facebook.com slash one Link is always in the description. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this. This is the PC version of the game. There is a remastered HD edition on the PlayStation 3. However, it's not actually that good, so I don't even recommend playing that. If you're going to play it on the PC, I'll show you guys what I'm working with here as far as graphics go. We're going to be doing this in 4K. Uh, everything set up to the max as possible. Do not turn on fog as it will cover up your entire screen. Control-wise, we're going to be using a gamepad. That is right. You can actually set up a gamepad for this game. And you could also use the mouse and keyboard, but I feel this game is meant to be played with a gamepad. Third person and all. Other than that, I think we're pretty much ready to go. There are no subtitles in this, so I do apologize. For those of you that are hard of hearing or maybe do not understand English as much, sit back, relax, and enjoy Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, the algorithm really helps out if you guys actually like, comment, and all of that. It helps out a lot so that we can reach a potentially a lot more people than we do now. So thank you guys for watching, and of course, it's go time. Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down, and I will tell you a tale like none that you have ever heard. No first, I am the son of Sharam, a mighty king of Persia. On our way to Azad with a small company of men, we passed through India. <coughs> where the promise of honor and glory tempted my father into a grievous error. Help, my son! I think I felt regret as I gazed upon the destruction we had wrought, or at least humility at the speed with which a world can be transformed from a good world into a hell. If you think so, you are mistaken. For in that moment I thought of one thing only, the honor and glory I would bring my father by fighting like a warrior in my first battle. One thing I want to give a note to you guys is that some of the cutscenes are going to be out of sync. That is because we're playing in 4K and we have a few things to make the game look a little bit better. And that does make the uh, make it out of sync a little bit. Love the slow down motion there. Also, we are using a controller even though it gives us the prompts for PC controls. I will be going for a 100% completion, meaning that I will find all of the little extra things that you can find throughout here. I think you guys will enjoy that. 
Now, some of the videos are not going to be very long. We're going to be going by specific Many points. They sought to win honor and glory on the battlefield, that their king might say to them, as Khosrow said to Rustam, you are the noblest of my warriors. From the moment my sword tasted blood, I knew this would not be my way. I would win my father's praise, not by killing, but by being the first to find the Maharaja's treasure vault and the wonders within. Again, so we're going to be doing, uh, some videos might be longer than others, but we're going to try to make it easy for you guys to be able to follow along. You're going to notice the classic move that we do here, which is always just pretty much jump in that. Very, very easy ways, especially against these enemies. And I took a little bit of damage there to show you guys uh, that you can actually refill all of your health via specifically any water that you might find. It's so beautiful. The game still looks great today. After so many years, what, this came out in 2003, I want to say? Commentary will be kept to a minimum, minimum, only talking throughout the things I feel that are going to add to the story. Maybe, guys, a little secret areas and stuff like that. We are going to be going around getting all of the secret areas. Trying to make this as nice and neat as we can as well. Hey, he missed it. <laughs> he did all the, He did that slow jump for nothing. Gonna get to the very, very top in order for it to work, I guess. I know a lot of you are probably thinking so much nostalgia going on in your heads right now because this is such an amazing series. Shall I continue my story from here the next time we're interrupted? a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. If I could only get there.
Gotta love the different camera angles. Actually is a first person view in this as well. It's so weird, but there is a first person view that you can go into as well as a landscape view that brings the action a little further out. So let's say if we were to click RB on our Xbox controller, it goes into landscape or uh, landscape mode, which is amazing for when you do like bigger battles, but we always like to stay in as close as we can. Get again a little instance of landscape mode as you can see and you can still do everything you would normally do in the game but you can see that our character is ultra tiny you can also go into first person for me i made it to where it's l b and then just press it once and then you can look around in beautiful first person mode if that is your desire now i set these up myself uh the controls might be different if you're playing this on the xbox or something as i i bound whatever i felt was most comfortable to me X is always going to be uh, how I hit. And then Y will be your dagger. Uh, B will be your cancel button. And A is jump. Another thing to note is I am playing this on the Elite controller, which actually allows me to be able to have my jump button on the little left symbol, or the little left back, which actually allows me to do some really, really cool fast jumping while I can still control the camera. Oh. Father, I have brought us honor and glory. <coughs> You promised me my choice of the Maharaja's treasures. That dagger! Surely you won't deny the lad a souvenir of his first battle. You may have your choice of all the Maharaja's other treasures. Except that hourglass. That will make a fine gift for the Sultan of Azad when we pass through the city. And some exotic animals for his menagerie. And a few dozen slave girls. Yes, that should be. I want no animals or maidens harmed until I have chosen. Let it be known, King Sharaman is merciful in victory. Trust not a man who has betrayed his master, nor take him into your own service, lest he betray you too. I learned the truth of this to my sorrow, the day that we arrived in Azad as the Sultan's honored guests. My friend, my 
Your visit brings joy and honor to my poor and humble dwelling. If only you'd given me time to prepare a proper welcome. The glories of Azad are famed throughout the world. And yet, the best is yet to come. I give you the sands of time. May the friendship between our kingdoms endure as long as time itself. The sand, why does it glow? I can tell you. Inside the hourglass is a marvel that no living man has seen. Alas, only the dagger can unlock the sands of time, and it belongs to a greater one than I. A young prince, dearer to his father than all the wealth of India. Perhaps he will oblige. No! Thanks for watching the video. Click on the playlist to see all the videos in this specific game. And also, don't forget to click the next video as well to keep continuing the story. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.